Alright ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another For Honor video. I know it's been a while, but I thought, ah, with the new Warden update, I might as well give my thoughts on it. Well, this isn't really my thoughts, this is just a quick tip that I discovered to get around the Warden Cheese, because we all know the new Warden Cheese is his shoulder bash mix-up. If he does it uh, normally, you can usually dodge it, but if he charges it all the way, even if you dodge the shoulder bash, you'll still get hit by it, which is really, really annoying. However, there is a way around this give you a quick demonstration. This is what you're seeing in the background. This is the, the basic Warden mix-up, whether it's a normal shoulder bash or a charged one. The way you get around it is exactly like you just saw there. All you need to do is dodge and then, if they keep charging the attack, the, the shoulder bash, let go of block. And that way you'll just dodge out the way of any attack they throw at you. So yeah, very simple, very straightforward, and well, I might as well play some gameplay and yeah, tell you about it more there. So I'm not quite sure, well, if I explained it particularly well because I've just done the footage but I have no idea how I would have phrased it in post. However, yeah, it's just very straightforward. Ooh, Legion. Okay, I know him. Uh, yeah, it's just very straightforward. All you need to do is... Ah, uh, how do I put this? Whenever the Warden is getting into his mix-up and he's going to charge into you, you know, with it, with his shoulder bash, and he's going to do the, well, you're thinking, is he going to do the, the short one, or is he going to charge it all the way? And, of course, that's like a real 50-50, but all you need to do to get around that entirely is to dodge to the side, or, well, dodge back to the side wherever, as if you were dodging the, the really quick shoulder bash, but then if you notice that he's still charging it, then roll. That's it. That's all you do. So it's like... Basically, best way to do it is to practice rolling uh, as late as possible, more or less. Like, you know, letting go of block as fast as possible. Well, uh, sorry, uh, holding on to block for as yeah. What was <laughs> basically? Oh, you get the general idea. It's fine. But yeah, now I'm just uh, playing around with with warden because warden's great fun now. Really suits my play style. Ah, yeah, fucked up there. But the thing is, again, you do have to roll to get around it. So if you're on, if you're low on stamina, probably best just to take the mix up. Because if you uh, if you roll and you get out of stamina, you are definitely fucked. If you can't roll, then it is a true 50-50. Yeah. Now, now warden. Well, because warden's all um, ooh, likes to do cheeky stuff without stamina. I respect that. But yeah, now that Warden's all about the um, the bashing, there's like no point in anything. <laughs> that gets everyone every fucking time. I love that. Uh, but yeah, now that Warden's bash, well, Warden's game plan is all centered around his bash. I mean, it always was before, but uh, now it's even more so. It's like he is probably got one of the best unblockables in the game now because of just the the amount of flexibility it has. Like you can cancel it whenever you want. You can do whatever you want with it. Oh, I'll make a, a real, a proper, like... Oh, I got so baited there. I'll make a real proper uh, thoughts and breakdown and whatnot on it later. But currently, I'm just having fun with him. And I'm trying to think of... Uh, well, I, I'm not, like, the best warden at the moment. So I'm trying to improve my game plan before I actually start, you know, telling people how to improve their game plan, more or less. I, I'm decent, but I'm not... Like, amazing, more or less. But yeah, it's just... The, the the main thing, like, the Warden v. Warden matchups now just all consist of unblockable mind games. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, you see, if I did the dodge roll there, I'm still I'm still getting used to actually doing it. Ah, you see, that's the, the good use of the, the track down. But yeah, I'm still getting used to the, um... Uh, like... The way of playing it, more or less. But I'll get there. I'll get there for sure. How do you spell Youch? Youch? Yeah, is it U or W? Ow. Well, this works. Gets the general message across. <laughs> but yeah, is it like Warden v Warden is now a very like unblockable mind gamey stuff, which is all. It's very fun. Like I, I find it very fun because it's like. Um, it's not traditional fainting, like you'd see with a, a Raider v Raider or anything like that. It's just a battle of fainting unblockables, and it's just... I don't know. I like it. 
I like this style of play a lot more. I always like characters with good, very confusing, uh, unblockable attacks like Conqueror, Highlander, and now Warden's got a really, a really confusing unblockable attack. Great fun. Oh, damn it. Mm. Expecting a zone. Uh, yeah, you always get zoned by a warden when you're low on health. Yep. A oh, fun. <laughs> Yeah, single thing I like the most um, about Warden's like game plan is the fact that you can just dodge backwards and then still dash forward and hit them with the unblockable. Because the range on it is absolutely ridiculous. It's like you you sprint a full 15 meters at your opponent to try and get them, and you still manage to hit them. And even the even the light one's got a well, the the basic shoulder bash has an insane range, and that's just. That's just great fun. Ah, okay. So I managed to... I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, figuring it out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, double shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm so boned. Zone? Gonna be a zone. Yeah. Come back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, well. Off to the next one. Oh, I'm probably gonna fight Legion. Okay, he's a good lad. Oh god, I'm tired. I'm recording this very late, just to letting you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing like Warden a a shitload, and it's just be draining, but really fun. Ah, I just gotta slap the face to stay awake, you know. No. Ugh. Yes, yes. Any of you following the uh, the channel know that I I don't really upload exclusively for honor anymore. It's just random shit that I feel like more or less. But I I, I it makes it much easier to make videos when it's all on randomness. You know how it is. Oh, I just, I've always I've always got a place for Conquer in my heart. But you know now now Warden's the hot stuff. I've got to I've got to talk about him. And besides, I'm really liking the new Warden. Uh, you might you might end up in my my list of mains. I've only got two, which is Conquer and Highlander. Those are the only ones I can truly say I actually main. But I think I might add Warden to the list because he's got like the exact kind of unblockable I like. Really controllable and really mind fucky, more or less. I mean, it's fine having. I, I don't really like characters that rely heavily on light spam or heavy feints or anything like that. I like really dickish, cheesy unblockables that screw with people in so many ways. That's why I probably get so much hate, but, ah, it's so much, it's so worth it. <laughs> yeah, new, new Valk is good too. I gotta try her out as well. It's like, the, um, the sweep into the guaranteed 40 damage is really, it looks really satisfying. Ah, uh, the age-old strategy of running away when you're out of stamina. Works true. Ah, shit. He fell for it. Okay. I'm gonna get that new execution, you know, the one with the, um... Victory. Where you, like, you, you run them through and then you lop off their head. That's always a fun one. But first things first, these damage numbers are kind of getting on my nerves. I was just doing, I had them on so I could test out, well, just see exactly what the new um, double light damage was. It is uh, 18 damage, which is obviously a lot less than 24, which is what it used to be. God oh, damn it, I keep falling for that shit. But yeah, it used to be um, 24, which is obviously amazing, but uh, eight stop, don't stop at 18. 18 damage is still, you know, a lot for a single light attack. And it's a lot for a very fast unblockable. If you think Conqueror gets uh, like 12 damage off his unblockable. Oh, damn it, trying to be cheeky. <laughs> and that sort, of, that sort of situation, you you might as well throw whatever you can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, the um, if you think, you know, unblockables like Conquerors, it's very fast. But it only nets you, you know, 12 damage. Of course, he's still amazing because it's better to have consistent, guaranteed damage as long if it's light than big, um, 
not as easy to get damage if it's heavy. You know, like, um... Well, actually, Highlander's probably probably an exception because he's got very massive damage that's also pretty much always guaranteed. <laughs> Let's say, like, um, Raider. Raider's unblockable. Um, it's, it's very risky and very unlikely you'll land it. When you do land it, it'll do a shitload of damage. I, I don't like that sort of play. I like it where it's... You're, you're almost guaranteed to hit them with a few unblockables, but only get a little bit of damage. I prefer that kind of play, and Warden now fits that perfectly. He fits both categories, actually, because, of course, you can risk it and charge it up and get the massive heavy damage, or you can just, uh, well, go for the basic stuff and body them just as well. Because it goes straight into the Vortex, which is great fun. Ah. Yes, the unblockable has worked on me way too much at the moment. <laughs> and yeah, you can cancel the um, you can cancel the uh, heavy charge like basically while you're charging forward. It's like <laughs> they say you can't cancel it whenever you want, but you really basically have full control. You can cancel it at any moment, more or less. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... And the, um... Ooh, we got himself out of stamina doing it, though. Yeah, and the, um... I saw a lot of Wardens were playing... Uh, well, complaining that, uh... Oh, no, the, um... The soft fate into... Oh, that should have caught him. Yeah, uh, that sounds surprising, but yes, that should have caught him. If you see a lot of Warden gameplay, you know how ridiculously stupid it is, and that should have caught him <laughs> with its ridiculous stupidity. But yeah, like, um... Oh god, completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'll do one more with, with Legion, and then I'll move on. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll just, I'll just. It'll only be like a couple games this this session. I'll make a, a full warden breakdown and full load of gameplay with it at another point in the future. Just need to get a few, a few of the kinks worked out first. Hmm. Ah, oh, you know when you when they've. Uh, now that they've announced that they're removing gear stats, it really makes you want it to happen sooner. It really makes you, like, just... Because I, I hate gear stats as it is. I hate revenge builds. And the fact that they, they're saying, oh, we're going to remove it, but later down the line, it's just like, oh, come on, just do it now. You get anxious, you know? Ah. But yeah. Bottom line, New Warden, really fucking fun. Definitely recommend trying him out for anyone looking for a new character. <sighs> oh yeah, uh, what I was saying, the um, the the soft faint into guard break that uh, you know Warden was known for in his Vortex. Yeah, you can still do that just as effectively. It's just uh, yeah, not gonna keep catching me, goddammit. Yeah, it's just as effective as it always was. It's just now you don't soft faint. You just because you can faint it. Uh, you can faint the the shoulder bash much sooner. You can uh, faint it into guard break at the exact same time you'd do it. You know, in the past. So really, nothing's changed. That was a interesting trade. I'm not sure if they're gonna. Well. I'm not sure what Ubisoft are going to do, whether they're going to nerf anything of Wardens, but I'd probably say nerfing the um, um, faint into guard break would probably be quite good, because at the moment it's exactly the same as, uh, you know, pre-rework pre Warden, because you can still um, just like, yeah, see, that's, that's the exact same speed as the old Wardens uh, faint, probably well, not faster, but definitely not slower. That's for sure. The main thing I think people are going to need with Warden, or what people are going to learn with Warden, is that if you if you master the timing and the cancel of the um, shoulder bash, then you'll, you'll, you'll basically be a god with the character. At the moment, I'm fucking up a lot of basic shit, but, you know, that's, that's a given. Brand new warden here, more or less. <laughs> Got a really good zone, though. 
Plus, chaining into the unblockable is quite nice. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. And that dash forward heavy is just so handy. It travels basically as far as the fall. In fact, it, I did some testing earlier, and the um, the dash forward heavy travels further than the fully charged shoulder bash. The fully charged shoulder bash is like... It, well, again, it travels basically full screen to get to your opponent. <laughs> like right now, if I was to do the full shoulder bash, it would hit him. No, oh, unless he dodges backwards, in which case it won't. Oh, shit. That's a good workaround. But he got himself out of stamina. He's getting onto the mix up. But at least now people can't run away from you when they're out of stamina. Like, before, um, the way to counter Warden as, like, an assassin or something was to just dodge backwards. And it would dodge out of every single uh, option he had off his shoulder bash. But nowadays, you can't do that. And if you're out of stamina, you're even more fucked. So it's it's nice. Very satisfying. And that's a game. Ah, right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, look into New Warden. I'll, again, said it before, but I'll say it again. I will release the full breakdown at some point in the future. just need to hone my Warden skills, you know? And yeah, make sure you try out that anti-Warden cheese thing. Uh, dodge to the side. If you think he's going to let the full charge go, then roll. Works every bloody time. Right. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>